Hi, welcome back to my balcony victory garden. We're here today to talk about uh, early blight in tomato plants and this is part two. Uh, last time I sprayed with hydrogen peroxide and today we're going to be following up with baking soda. Both of those sprays are pretty uh, innocuous. They don't uh, they, they're non-toxic, they're inexpensive, and easy, very easy to do, easy to apply. So uh, it's pretty much a no-brainer, why not uh, give it a chance? If you're starting to see uh, your tomato plants uh, having early blight, uh, and as I said last time, it's pretty easy to identify because it usually starts from the ground up, which is where the spores are, so uh, as, the, uh, as you water and it splashes up from the soil and it gets on the lower leaves which is why you want to keep the lower leaves trimmed um, to avoid this and so the leaves generally start to yellow and die from the bottom and work up so that's uh, that's what we're dealing with and it's pretty typical in July uh, so the second as I said the second phase of this treatment is to come in with the baking soda um, the reason is that uh, as I said the hydrogen peroxide is a quick kill, a quick fix, but then the baking soda stays on the leaves and provides more protection because the spores are around and you need the uh, ongoing protection. Um, this one works in an interesting way. It just raises the pH. Uh, this, this, uh, the, ba the pH of baking soda is 8, which is pretty high, it's uh, pretty alkaline, and the uh, spores can't survive in something that alkaline so it's uh, it's simple and it does the job uh, so I'm going to go ahead and spray but I must say that I'm encouraged uh, I've been doing this for a while keeping up this rotation and uh, and there's a third piece which I'll, I'll talk about in, in the next video of treating the soil uh, but I've been doing this now for a while and it didn't seem to be uh, helping at least I didn't see anything, but now I'm seeing some encouraging uh, regrowth of leaves on at least one of the tomato plants. So I think, fingers crossed, that maybe we might be beating this. And so uh, hopefully I'll be able to document that uh, continued improvement and recovery. So without further ado, I'll show you the plants and then we'll get down to uh, spray. So here's the encouraging regrowth that I was telling you about. Uh, this is on the patio variety uh, tomato plant. And if you remember from my video last time, it was pretty much bare. After I got through uh, taking off all the dead and diseased leaves, there was really nothing left on it. It was just a bunch of bare sticks. So these new green leaves have all developed uh, in the not the tomatoes they were on there but the leaves have all developed in the last couple of weeks unfortunately uh, right next door is the husky red cherry and that has not uh, shown any signs of uh, new regrowth uh, yet uh, I guess um, hope lives eternal and I'm hoping that uh, Maybe one of these fine days I'll come out and see some new leaves starting to grow and I will keep you uh, posted on that. If you want information on how to identify early blight and a good look at what the early blight leaves look like, uh, take a look at the uh, video I posted last time, uh, two weeks ago, because it goes into it uh, in a lot more detail. So now we're going to mix up the baking soda spray. The first step is to mix up the, uh, I mix it up in a smaller amount so I can make sure I have it in solution. And the first thing is I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking soda to the water I have in this uh, measuring cup. That's one. equal amount of oil. <clears throat> I'm using avocado oil. I like it because it's light, but really you could use any vegetable oil would be just fine. It's just so that it will help to adhere to the leaves. That's one.
teaspoon and this is a, a half of a teaspoon. And then finally, <clears throat> you put a couple of drops of dish soap in. And that is to emulsify the oil, because otherwise you can, I don't know if you can see this, but it's, it's just big globules on, on the top of the water, and this will help to break it up. container so I can mix it and give it a good stirring to make sure it's all in solution before I add it into the sprayer. I've already got um, some water in the sprayer and if I figured this out right it should come out to 32 ounces in combination. Which is a quarter of a gallon. Generally, when you get the, uh, the formula for how much to use, it, it gives it in terms of a gallon. So I find that doing um, 32 ounces, it works out easy to calculate because it's exactly a quarter of a gallon. So there we go. Um, my sprayer has uh, all the different measurements on the side here, uh, but they are not uh, very easy to read. So I just use a little... Uh, black sharpie to uh, write over it so that it's easy to see that I've got uh, the 32 ounce mark, that I hit the 32 ounce mark. Okay, so now we'll just load this up into the sprayer, load up the sprayer, and this is a handy little pump sprayer, I used it in the last video, so I won't go into that too much other than to say that you just you just pump it up and then it pressurizes it and then it, it puts out a nice fine spray. Okay, that's enough. You can tell when you've got enough because it's, uh, you get quite a bit of resistance. So here we go. I'm just going to Try to cover cover the leaves such as they are and the stems because the spores do travel up the spit up the stems. So we'll try to saturate the stems as well. Okay, so there you have it. Today we sprayed with baking soda, which is the second part of our three-pronged approach to treating uh, early blight in tomato plants. Uh, we did the first one last time, which was uh, spraying with hydrogen peroxide, and that kills the blight on contact. And then today's uh, uh, application of baking soda provides a more ongoing uh, protection on the leaves. And then next time we're going to talk about actually treating the soil, uh, which is getting to the root of the problem, so to speak, because that's where the fungal spores live. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, please be sure to like, post some comments in the comment box down below, and subscribe. So for now, I'll say bye-bye, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again next time here on the balcony.